Hello, this is James with Lot Hill. I'm going to show you how to set up the item variations. So if you have an item in your inventory, let's say it's small, medium, large, I'll show you how to set that up. Go to the Manage menu, Inventory, and then Inventory again. And as of version 1.6.3 or, or so, uh, we added a Variations tab. Now this will allow faster configuration of items that have sizing or coloring, things like that. First thing we're going to do, click Add and on the general tab we're going to put in the unique SKU number so if you have a bunch of different sizes they may have the same UPC code we're gonna call it 321 if that's the case we need to have an additional identifier behind that number that way it's unique in the system so we're gonna do 321 let's say MED BLU so medium blue and then the group code or master SKU is gonna be 321 the main core UPC code. This is what we're going to use to link all these different sizes and colors together. Medium, we'll do shirt. Medium blue. And we'll give it a cost of 14. The price of 14 cost is 7. We'll say we got 10 in stock. And attributes, we're going to check it's a blue and a medium. Okay, click save. Next, we're going to go to Variations for this item and click Add. We're going to change the SKU number, because it has to be unique, to Small Red. And we'll change the description as well. Small Red. Um, the pricing for the variations is kind of unique. So you can either increase, decrease, or override from the base item. So the base item is the one that you're creating the variation from. In this case, it's the medium blue. The medium blue is, you know, it's kind of the bread and butter. It's the one that everything is kind of based off of. If you have different pricing for smalls and larges or maybe extra large or extra small, then this is the way you would set that up. You can either set it up to be a, an increment from the base, in this case, an increase or decrease. Uh, we're going to do a small shirt, so we'll just say we're going to decrease the, the price, the sale price, a dollar. So in this case, it's going to be 13 bucks instead of 14 if you had uh, an extra large and, or an extra extra large and you want to charge a couple extra bucks there you could just do increase two bucks now it's sixteen so anytime you, you change that core uh, item anytime you change the price on that it will automatically adjust the price of the variations if you use increase or decrease the third option there is override that will allow you to set a, st a static price it won't change no matter what you do to the the core item it will always remain the same price. So if you wanted to have it always be 13 bucks, say override, I want to go 13, that's it, done deal. But in my case, I'm just going to do it uh, $1 decrease from the base of 14, so it's 13. You can have a, a unique photo for the variation. Uh, you can also do the attributes. So you can search through the inventory lookup. You can say, show me all those small, show me all the mediums. Show me all the red shirts or blue shirts. Um, so I set small and red and hit save. So there you are, it's created. And one thing to note is all the, all the variations that are created will have the same group code. So let's go ahead and uh, click close. That group code, by the way, that group code is used as a, a, a way to group items together or you know have a common lookup. So I'm going to type 3, 2, 1. And sure enough, there are both of the items that we have set up, the medium blue and the small red. So by having the identifier in the item number, it's easy to see what you have going on. The more mediums you have, the more smalls you have, you'll be able to group those together. Uh, same with the description. You can sort by description to see all the smalls and the mediums and the different colors. Um, you just select one, and it adds it to your list. Simple enough. And if you change the price of the core item, if you're using increment or um, decrement, decrement, whatever you want to call it, then uh, it will automatically adjust the pricing for the variations. So there I've changed my core price to 15 bucks, 3, 2, 1. Sure enough, there it is, now it's 14. One thing to note is the variations do not show up in the list. So that'll keep your list sort of compact and not as bloated. 
they will um, show up under inventory reports though. So everything is the same as it's always been. The only difference is they won't show up in um, the inventory setup screen, this guy. They will show up under the search. So there are both my items under the search. They will show up in every other place you would expect them to. So inventory report, let's do list by SKU. Give me a second here. And that will pop up and show us, sure enough, there it is, small red, medium blue. There are the pricing. So everything is there. Uh, it's just a different way of grouping items together uh, to make everything a little bit more f uh, quick. And, um, you know, there's not as many options on the variation screen as there are on this entire um, inventory screen. So if there's an option in here that isn't in the variations, you can assume it's the same as the core item. So the taxes, uh, the item types, uh, all the ask for price when sold, all that stuff is going to be the same as the core item. So if you have a, a small shirt or something like that that's asking for a quantity, the variation of that item is also going to ask for a quantity, that type of thing. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 855-LOT-HILL or shoot us an email at product.support at lothill.com.